And there's a change in the air as the team from Cuba, the defending Olympic champions, now find themselves trailing two to one in a best of five series. John Neighbor here with Maria Barnes in the Stars and Spikes Road to Atlanta Tour, the American team certainly putting something together. Coach Terry Laskevich in his 12th year at the helm of the U.S. squad, the 88-92 Olympic coach, looking, hoping for his first Olympic gold medal after they won a bronze in Barcelona. It's He's as if these two teams have traded places since the last time they met last week. The Cubans played so well and were on top. And the expressions on the faces of the Cubans now were like what the Americans were in the last meeting. The United States has played so well tonight. They've really executed right, their game uh, plan so, so perfectly. The and the Cubans Set just have committed far too many unforced errors. Head coach for the Cuban squad here today, Antonio Perdomo. We saw him earlier doing a very animated job of talking to his team, something that was completely foreign to him in Albuquerque, the first stop of this tour. He, he maybe said five words to his team throughout the whole match, but he didn't need to coach them. They were playing out of playing perfectly well. Game number four. Mirka Francia waiting for the command to start this action. the call. America gets the side out to start this fourth game. And that play right there has plagued the Cubans tonight. They are missing hits by inches. Hit a lot of balls wide and long. Nice reaction. And the call there. Four hits by the Cubans. America gets on the scoreboard for the first point of this game. And that was blocked off Odin's fingertips, side out. Side out. Zero serving one. Marlenis Costa played on the Olympic team that won gold in Barcelona. Odin overpowering. She does look intimidating here, doesn't she? Yeah, she really does. And, uh, serving and she's as out. nice and meek as she can be. Off the court. Uh -huh. Isn't that interesting? Uh -huh. a game Though phase. the daredevil of the three sisters. That, that's not saying much. <laughs> <laughs> Side out, another service mistake by the American team. Dink. Intimidation doesn't need to take place if you can find the spot on the floor. Elena Odin has played very well tonight for the United States. And there's a lot of height. As Ana Ibis Fernandez knocks it down for the fifth side out. Cuba serves. Score of the first three games, America winning uh, games one and three. 15-13 in the first game, losing 8-15 in the second. Winning 15-4, to four. big hit. Got a tee to get it back on the American side. Williams with their 14th kill of the match. She does a nice job here of finding the seam in the Cuban block, and you can see she hit right through it there. Combining to get America's second point of the game. 2 0, they lead. D. Williams putting on a little blocking clinic out here. Look at her penetration over the net. Nice oh. dig. The assassin gets the defensive credit there. And that one goes out. Looking for fingertip touch, says Cuba. And the linesman gives them the call. Side out. See if you can see the touch there. It looks as if it got the fingertips of the Americans. Cuba didn't used to have to argue for points in Albuquerque. <laughs> Sky T hits it out. 
That's Cuba on the scoreboard, now trailing 2-1. Point Cuba, one serving two. In Albuquerque, Cuba could afford to lose a few points. Not so here. Big hit again. Bevo so good at those short sets, both in front and behind the setter. When the U.S. passes well enough to feed her, Endicott is so good at setting these quick sets. And look at how she just finds her hitter there. Locked out of bounds. Costa just used T. Williams there. Yeah, that's right. There's a, there's a backboard. He's there. Yeah, that's right. There's a, there's a backboard. Uh, Williams knows it. Block was ready. Point, Cuba, two, three. Cuba now serving 2-3. Oh, Cuba not giving up. Skyti off the fingertips, still in play. team will not win that one. Cuba ties the U.S. 3-3 after a remarkable series of second efforts. But a heartbreak play to miss it by that much. So close. Could have been in. Mm -hmm. Odin unable to get lift on the ball. Cuba going ahead now. So in Cuba now with a 5-3 lead, they call a timeout. We'll be back with more of game number four of this best of five series. Action continues in game number four, where Cuba leads 5-3 over the American team that is leading 2-1 over Cuba in games. Fingertips the call. Side out. Side out, USA. Now, earlier, Williams was serving them flat and low. Had a couple of uh, unforced errors, served him into the net. That one's going long. It's hard when you change your serving form. If you're used to serving a certain way and it's not working, you're forced to change. Temper flare in there. jumping if we were able to touch that ball. There's a nice serve. Out. Point number five, five. Two quick uh, points allow the U.S. team to pull to within one. Coach Terry Liskevich won his 300th win against Canada in September of last year. 
really done a fabulous job building the USA program. And he has already, there's another big one. He's already announced his pending retirement at the conclusion of the gold medal game in Atlanta. So if they're going to win one for the Gipper, they've got these to practice on. And another terminating play in the middle by Elena Odin. She just beat the block there. An emotional lift for the U.S. team as they score three quick points. That's out. Americans just can't seem to control their serves today. I guess at least it shows that they're going for it. And T hits it off the wall, out of bounds. Side out. Should say that was the silent assassin cross battle. <laughs> well, Farrell just bangs this ball, but it is wide. Oh, a miss hit. Bev Odin, she's smiling about it. That was a great save by Cross Battle up at the net, though. That one-handed set with her fist. Does that come from taking your eye off the ball? How do you miss hit a ball like that? You know, sometimes it just happens. She was more focusing on trying to stay behind the 10-foot line. Took her eye off the ball. Good second effort by the U.S. team. And a downhill smash. Fernandez. Tying the game, 7-all. Best middle on the Cuban squad right now, given that Carvajal is not here playing in the Japanese league. with a big block to follow it up. Cuba leading for the first time. No, I'm sorry, for the second time in the game. Two back-to-back -back points for Cuba, but ended by Elena Odin. She bangs yet another ball to the floor. She didn't get a lot of height, but she found a way to. She really doesn't, though. She is quick. For her size, she is so quick. Crowd very much into this game. And Odin comes down hard again to tie it at eight. You know, the other thing about Elena Odin is she really stays behind the ball well, and that's so important in being able to see the court. A little confusion out of Cuba as they're bumping into each other on the defense. Riley forcing the air out of the Cuban. She really stays behind the ball well, and that's so important in being able to see the court. A little confusion out of Cuba as they're bumping into each other on the defense. Forcing the air out of the Cuban squad as America takes the lead 9-8. Great defense by the Americans. Liley is such a tenacious hitter. Not falling for the fake. Liley gets another. And the American momentum is coming back. They're going to take a short break. Listen to this crowd. Tammy Liley, she's just going for it tonight. I mean, that's just a great play. She could have set that. She hit it smart play. So the United States enjoying a two-point lead in game number four. They win this. They win the match. We'll find out how it turns out. Come right back. And a wave 
is sweeping the crowd here at the Special Events Center on the UTEP campus in El Paso. John Neighbor sitting along Maria Barnes as the United States seems to have things pretty well under control as they defeated the Olympic champion Cuban squad two out of the first three games in this best of five series. Cuba earning a side out, trailing by two. 8-10 to serve. Coming now out of Ana Ibis Fernandez. Powerful attacker on the team that won the World Cup for Cuba, and that serve goes out. Side out. Back to Elena Oden. 10 serving games. The powerful Elena Oden. chooses to jump up and earn the 11th point. There's a happy Big team. Win. A major upset in the making if the United States wins this game. Their goal coming into this tour was to win three out of five. Diggs. Great coverage on defense. And it's long. And it's long. How about that rally? Great rally. Great action here. The crowd in El Paso getting more than their money's worth. In this second stop on the Stars and Spikes Road to Atlanta Tour. Big dig. Block, forcing them error, a side out. Substitution's going on. SC's Weishoff rejoining the team for the serve. Paul at 33, played on the 1984 Olympic team in Los Angeles where the U.S. won silver. And again on 92. For the bronze. Playing volleyball a long time, first joined the team in 81. the call. Oh, USA. USA. So uncharacteristic for the Cubans. She had a naked net. No one was up on her. Look at this. She could have hit it anywhere and she hits it wide. That's the mistakes they've been making today. Mm -hmm. Unforced errors. Wide shots. Great touch by Weissoff. Went for it. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this U.S. team is diving for the long ones a lot more than they used to in, in Albuquerque. They used to see those go by. Another service error. Substitution team USA back in the match number six. Kristen Klein. Another U.S. substitution as Kristen Klein joins the floor. She's a great server and passer. Four-time All-American out of Stanford. Brother and father play professional sports. As does her fiance, the Utah Jazz. Side out. Side Adam out Keith. Out. He'll be married this summer. See Williams back into the match. Line comes out. Williams back in. Cuba winning the first point in the last about 12 serves. America still leads 12-9. Down is the call. Cuba gets their 10th point. Crowds booing. They didn't like that set by the Cubans. Our coverage continues here in El Paso, game number four in this best of five series, right after this. 
Welcome back to El Paso. The United States still leading in game number four of this volleyball match. Cuba serving 10-12. It's a new rule in volleyball. Starting in 1995, you can take the serve overhand, as you saw Williams do there. Cuba now fighting for the touch. Side out. But the official says side out. Fernandez, the most vocal, the least, the last one to so, quit the argument. So strange to see them arguing points. As you said, the last time these teams played, the Cubans didn't say beat. <laughs> they, they could <laughs> spot the U.S. team. Six yeah. Points. <laughs> Great dig. And that did fine. Red paint. Side out. Side out, Cuba. Cuba realizes America needs three more points to win the match. So as they serve 10-12, every point's important. And Odin gets the service back to the U.S. squad. Side out. Back to Lori Endicott to serve 12-10. Very important for the United States to serve well here. Keep the pressure on the Cubans, not let them climb back. Endicott having some service problems earlier. The Americans getting the block. Bev Oden. Big hit. Fingertips and a nice block. Great defensive positioning on both sides. And it's the silent assassin who gets credit for point number 13. You notice at this point in the match, both teams are just looking to get the touch high off the hands and have the ball go out of bounds. The ball go out of bounds. Because their defense, their, their digs are being very, very thorough today. Yes. Well, they're staying in position. They're staying deep, which is enabling both teams to pick up those deep hits that are coming off the blocker's hands. A timeout is called. Game number four shows America leading Cuba 13 to 10. Come back in just a moment. The United States leading 13-10 has the serve in game number four 13, and a 2-1 lead in games in this best of five series. Two winning it. serves here. America defeats the Olympic champion Cuban squad for a major upset. Cuba finds the hole, gets the side out. Smart of Cuba to go to Red LaBelle. Very consistent hitter for Cuba. And that dig on Cuba. gave Cuba an opportunity to get their 11th point on the board. Trail by two. Dig. IT gets the service back into the U.S. side of the net. Substitutions taking place. Daniela Scott comes in. Bev Oden goes out. It's a pretty set by Elena Oden. Stepped in there, used her paws, put it out there nicely for T. Williams. Elena, back to serve. As Francia was looking at her setter coming around. Not much you can do against that, is there? Two words for that. Straight down. Straight down. But that works just as well. Tammy Liley again using the Cuban block. 13-11. So with that kill, goes back to serve. Side out again. The last few points of this game will not be easy for either team to come by. Both teams are playing at a very high level right now. And the recently substituted Scott comes in for a very important shot. 
Daniel Scott, three-time All-American at Long Beach State. Look at this beautiful one-foot takeoff. Turns the ball back into the court. Well done. The 14th point. It is now game and match point for the United States. T. Williams back to serve the crowd on their feet. 